What four questions from the world of selling can you answer to make you a better presenter? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In the next four videos, we're going to address four specific questions related to the world of selling that will help you become a better presenter. They'll help you connect at a deeper level with audiences. The first of these questions is, do I like you? When I started off as a young salesperson back in the 1980s, you could get away with being, frankly, a bit of a jerk. I'm not saying I was, but I had some managers that could come across as jerks, but they could still sell. The reason being, there wasn't as much competition for the products or services we had. They could get away with strong-arming people, that bullying type of selling. Those days are long gone, and thank goodness they are. There's just no place for that in the world of selling. Today, when you sell a product, service, or idea, you need to create relationships. Well, the same holds true whether you're in a one-on-one -on -one presentation or you're a speaker in front of a large group of people. You have to be likable. How do you convey likability? Through your stories. Don't stand up in front of a group of people and say, you know, I'm a really great guy, or I'm a terrific woman. You just got to get to know me. Yeah, that doesn't work too well. Use the dialogue in your stories to convey your likability. You could have your customer, clients, patients, if you're a doctor, say things like, you know, when we first met you, we had had some difficulty with some other professionals. We just didn't like them, but we've got a good feel about you, Mary. And that's why we've done business with you, and we're still thrilled that we do work together. That's one example. Another could be something like, Bob, every time we've gotten together with you, it feels like we're talking with an old friend. We appreciate the work you do with us, but more importantly, we feel a closeness to you. And that's why we keep doing business with you. How do you capture this dialogue? Go back to your past clients, customers, uh, groups that you've spoken to, whomever, and ask them, why did you originally do business with me? And secondly, why do you continue to do business with me? They'll tell you. There's a very good chance one of the responses they'll give you is because we like you. The first of your four tips in this short series is to convey your likability in your stories. That's the initial step to demonstrating to others that you're the kind of person they want to work with or listen to from stage. Tomorrow you'll hear the second question that people want the answer to if they're going to work with you uh, to sell them a product, service, or allow you to speak to their group. See you then.